you know, the three main things that people starting an exercise program want to improve. You know, people want to lose fat. They want to gain strength. They want to build muscle. I'm ACSM versus X3. Who had the better co body composition improvements? Measuring body fat, strength, hypertrophy, all that fun stuff. Other than the X3 edged out people on uh, the strength and the muscle hypertrophy in certain muscle groups. The bicep was one of them. I believe the chest was another one where the X3 actually edged everyone out. So, you know, they, they edged people out on a few, but not a huge difference. That the traditional ACSM protocol, the average time that it took people was about 90 minutes a day, about an hour and a half, you know, three days a week. They had to drive to the gym. They had to use the weights depending on where they were, 30, 45 minute drive to the gym. And they had to drive home. They had an hour and a half at the gym. You're looking yeah. at a good chunk of your day that you're just going to the gym. And the huge difference with the study was that the X3 group average time, 10 minutes a day, same result, same strength, same hypertrophy. Well, better results, actually. Yeah. Much more efficient, much more effective.